This is a tutorial for the installation of the Heart plugin for Illustrator. Now I'm going to show it in CS5, but the same basic approach can be used for CS4, CS3, etc. Right, uh, I'm on a PC, so uh, same basic approach can be used on a Mac. But on a Mac, you'd have to put it to the Applications folder instead of the Program Files. Right, just going to go to once you download the heart plugin from graphic extras it's you can then unzip the file and you'll find this folder structure it's pc plugin for cs4 now the plugin also works for cs5 so basically if it says for cs4 it also means for cs5 so, so just basically select that one so just copy it control c so you can just go over there if you wish copy and then you go to the C folder and I'm just going to down to program files Adobe all different Adobe ones Adobe Illustrator CS5 plugins and I've created just a folder here I'm just going to paste that into there so now you might be asked for permissions to actually so you might have to enter your password to actually uh, for your admin account depends on how you set up your system i'm using a basic account but i've actually set the privilege i can actually put files to that folder right so once you've installed it in the file it's the gx15 underscore heart dot aip file now just you can start up illustrator so i'll just quickly start up illustrator now the graphic extras plugins are uh, uh, you can find them on the, on the website there's trial versions as well most trial versions are actually for cs4 there's no trial versions for cs5 at present so just loading up there right now illustrator started now one change from say like cs3 or cs2 is that uh, the plugins no longer appear in the filter menu there's no filter menu so there you can see there's no filter menu there now so i'm just going to say new at that point And it will do it eventually. Come on. Yep, new. Okay. And instead, the plugins can be found in the object filters. So you go to the object and filters and AVP create and it's heart. Okay. Right. Well, I'm just going to set up the color before I start. So I'm just going to say, obviously, the heart normally is like a red design. So I'm just going to set the fill to be red from the start. So object. Filters, create heart. Yeah, you can see the heart. That's the heart, basic heart pl plugin dialog. Right, so it's split over a number of different panels. This is the key one, the heart thing. So you can, so if you hold down the shift, you can actually click on these little buttons here. Hold the shift key down and then drag as you would across the screen. And you can actually change, modify the values there. But uh, I prefer just to enter the values via here. But it's uh, certainly a more interactive way of uh, applying the plugin. Also, you can just click on the things and just create, so you can change the height, the curve distance for the heart for both sides. That's on the other side. So the curve height, change that, modify that. You can also slant the plugin. So again, you can slant the plugin and do various things. Again, you modify the curve a bit more. You can tweak in different varieties. These actually change the various point things, the various structures of the hearts. So you can change different, there's different heart designs. It's a more rounded heart. Various different designs. Also, you can modify where you locate the heart. Place heart at the user defined center, place heart at the center of a document. Some of these are more useful if you're using various randomized features. You can also set various jittering or randomization. Also, grid settings for the location of the heart. Now you've got a settings section, so you can randomize the color of the heart. So you just say shuffle through different colors. Now, one of the quickest ways of actually, uh, I'm just going to quickly change that a bit, to actually go through these things is actually to use the tumble feature. So you can actually tumble through various varieties of different heart designs. So I'm just going to click on heart designs. So you can just click on that, so it randomizes the values the heart design 
so you can create thousands of, you know, they don't even even have to be heart designs sometimes some of the, the extreme shapes are created could be uh, useful for very abstract abstract designs maybe like used for um, brushes or for use for uh, in swatch or pattern designs that's another way now you can reset the value by that reset command so I'm just going to see the color of the heart is now a purple and random fill of the heart you can go through the various presets so different preset things there's a sketch feature so you can actually set sketch as a sketch settings here you can actually modify additional sketch so you can sort of make random color sketch random using swatches you can make the whole increase the weight of the sketch designs etc etc also sketch heart is another preset goes through different designs also you can create contour designs so other random designs like that so you can create there's a whole heap of selection of random features so you can sort of spread them across the document place anywhere in the document and those sort of things just run through a whole heap of doc. Now the best way actually just quickly to show you is uh, I'm just going to just change the size of the screen so you should actually see the it's a very small bit there now but uh, it's also a quick way of uh, showing some of the uh, repeat features. Hundred they are so you can actually see the heart designs there. A bit easier to see the heart designs. Now with Illustrator CS5, unfortunately, it doesn't actually put them straight on the document anymore. It actually shifts them up slightly because they changed the uh, the way the coordinates have worked. So um, with CS4 they would appear here. With CS5 they appear here. That's just one of the ways they've uh, changed the coordinate system for Illustrator. Right, that's the basic uh, functionality of the heart design plugin. Click OK at that point. Um, and it's basically just basic pass. So if you you can then manipulate it again, you just drag it like that, and you can apply various other effects, or you can convert them to different colours. You can just do all the various functions that you would normally do with any standard pass.